So let's get to it. Recipe for a perfect study plan. Number one, you should be able to complete all your syllabus. Number two, you should be able to complete all your revisions. Number three, you should have enough time to breathe and not study all the time. And number four, everything should go as planned and as smoothly as possible. Hey there, I'm Subhar Ramnani, the guy who's mad about medicine just like you. Also final year medical student at Yerevan State Medical University. And now my final exams are around the corner. And I have devised this uh, study plan for myself. And so far it's going good. So let me tell you how I created my study plan and hopefully it can help you to create yours. So first things first, let me nail down the basics for you. This study plan, this perfect recipe is not if your exam is like next week. It is for a longer end goal exam. For example, end of semester exam, end of year exam or your final exams where you also have to live your life. You also have to go to your classes, do your work, enjoy while also studying for this exams and maybe a few little exams in between. So this is a study plan you can use along your classes or if you're doing something else. So it will go hand in hand with that. But you have an end goal that you have to give an exam two to three months later. So let's get straight to it. Step number one, know when is your date. For example, my date is just hypothetically three months from now. So I wish to complete all my syllabus, all my revisions three months from now. So let me set a target one to two weeks before that. So if there is some mishap or I'm not able to do something, I'm down with fever, anything, I have that buffer gap so I can catch up. So let's say the date was 1st October. So I plan to finish everything at least by 18th September, let's say around two weeks. Okay. Step number two. Now that I know I have to finish my syllabus by let's say 18th of September, I need to know what I need to do each day or each week. For that, I have to make a topic list. So let's say I have 20 topics coming in this exam. I should make this topic list and also further subdivide it into subtopics. So to create this topic list, you can use anything like a piece of paper, a blackboard or just simply writing down the topic list and creating a PDF so you have something to go along and you can check it. Talking about PDF, let me tell you about Wondershare PDF who are kindly sponsoring this video today. Wondershare PDF element as the name suggests has got everything to do with PDFs. Here I open a PDF of some notes I created and as you can see I have all the tools available. The strike through tool, the underline tool, the highlight tool, adding shapes, adding arrows and whatnot. Even adding images and links. You can do everything with this. The smartest feature I found was this OCR recognition. So here is a scan copy of a book and as you can see it is not at all editable but I see a pop-up to perform OCR. It's so simple, I just select my language, select some options and perform the OCR. And just like magic, this scan document is now fully editable. I can highlight, underline, strike through and do all the amazing things I shared with you before. Another amazing feature is to fill forms. So as you can see, it automatically recognizes the text field so I can write my names and it even recognizes the drop-down menus. And yes, even the little checkboxes, so you can fill your form very easily. Another thing is, you can export it in literally every format. So Word, image, pages, anything. So here I export it as a JPEG and you can see it looks exactly same, just like the form I wanted to fill. And yes, all these features are carried over to the iOS app, which also has support for Apple Pencil, so I can sign my documents and do cool stuff like this. You can find all the download links and discounts in the description box below. So now you've already done two things. You know when to finish your syllabus by and have a buffer time and you also have your topic and subtopic list. Now what to do? How to proceed with this? So we need to break this months into weeks. So let's say we have about eight weeks till we have to complete the syllabus. So we will divide our studies into weeks. Now how to divide your week? I would suggest what I do, I study 5 days new topics. That means I'm coming across material which I haven't studied before or which is fairly new to me. I know it from class but it is like I haven't self-studied it. 
so five days are for that what about the rest two days well you do nothing one day is your break day where you actually do nothing live your life you need and deserve a break the second day is the catch up day now that can be turned into a break day if you keep on completing your tasks for those five days but it is a catch up day if you need it to be now i know now i know some of you have this thought that i can study six days i can use the catch up day as my break day i'm going to stay on schedule i'm determined and i'll complete all my tasks trust me life happens you need a break you need a catch up day so we've allotted five days merely for studying new topics what about revision it will all start to get mixed up as and when you keep on studying new and newer topics you have to do something about revision the simple rule of revision is revise every day yes on that break day on that catch up day and also on those five days when you are studying the new topics now you must be thinking i need a break so see if you revise every day you don't need more than 30 minutes or 1 hour to revise it and 30 minutes to 1 hour you can do it every day you can build up a habit to study 30 minutes or 1 hour every day doesn't matter it's your break day or catch up day you should revise every day that's what i do and i would suggest but if you really need a break you can skip that one day not even revise not do anything not do any new material and just have a break that's perfectly fine but what i do is i at least revise every day because i want that habit to keep rolling of me studying every day and it's been about around 500 days i have been doing that i haven't missed a day i have not revised now enough of flexing let me tell you how to plan your revisions again a simple rule of revision no matter how you do it you do it in anki you create a notion database you create a flashcard system which you use by pen and paper or you create a system of one day one week one month whatever method of revision you use the basic rule is the weaker the topic the more revisions you have to put in the stronger the topic the less revisions you have to put in so if you think you're really confident in glomerulonephritis nephritic nephrotic syndrome from your renal module and you still feel that your cardio module is not really up to the mark you don't know cardiomyopathies then well do more revisions of that and do less revisions of your renal module that's how it works you do not have to schedule in the renal module if you think you know it now this is very personal and you have to judge yourself and you will learn as you move along these weeks you will learn that okay you know this stuff well and you do not know this stuff well and this is basically a very personalized thing that you have to figure out for yourself what i do is i do my anki and i also have a notion database where i manage my revisions and yes uh, i am planning to make a video on that but some time after my final exams but i will definitely get it done so yeah whatever you do you know the rules weakest topic more time strongest topic less time revisions that's all now you have everything set you have a plan you have your revision set but one more thing how should you revise now if you're thinking that you will just read the topic again then you're wrong you have to do active recall revisions by active recall see active recall and space repetition are these two buzzwords in this modern era of studying which we are all used to hearing so you've already incorporated the space repetition you have spaced your revisions from these one week two week or however you've done that now you need to do the active recall so how to revise well i already have a video on it so you can check it out somewhere here and i'll also link it in the description but basically you have to do it actively and not by looking at the text or reading the text so one tip i can give you here this if your end exam is an mcq based exam where you have options and you have to choose one option then you are better off revising with flash cards anki or doing question banks but if your exam is an oral exam where the teacher will ask you a question and you have to answer on the spot or a theory exam where there's a question you and you have to write paragraphs as an answer then you're better off revising with closing the book and revising like that or using the feynman technique discussing with your friend etc and etc well that's it you have the perfect plan well at least the recipe to create this perfect plan 
because every study plan is very individualized you cannot trust on anyone else's study plan you do not know what do they know and what do you know maybe some topics you know better and they do not know or vice versa so these plans are very individualized and i have given you a general recipe to create a perfect study plan for yourself so go ahead and do that right now and don't worry if you lag behind in your study plan remember we have those 1 to 2 weeks in the end as catch up so you do not need to stress over that you haven't completed your syllabus or revisions and you have the perfect study plan well i wish you all the best for your exam and if this video even helped you a bit to create that perfect study plan then don't forget to click the thumbs up button and if you really loved it and you want to see more content click on the subscribe button and as always stay healthy stay safe and stay mad but just about medicine